Well, howdy diddly and dandy there, chums. Today's episode, chums, is going to be awesome. I'm going to be showing you guys out there in the viewer verse how to do something pretty darn freaking sterling. Yeah, heck yes it is. This is freaking mind-blowing, in fact. Yes, I'm going to be turning poo into nanites. So firstly, I need to find myself some carbon. So let's grab some carbon. Lovely, lovely carbon. They get that from blowing up any sort of flora on a planyard. And if I go into my cargo, look, I've already got some feces down here, which is technically creature poo. I'm going to bin that off just so you can see me starting from scratch. And I'm going to create some creature pellets. Yeah, so you can feed these to fauna. That's a way to tame them, but it's also a way to get them to lay some nuggets of goodness, heck yes, turd, or poo, or shite, to the actual learned. Right, here we go, let's um, go into my quick menu, into the cog, and into this little box here, and there's my creature pellets. I'm going to throw these out, I'm going to throw them in the general direction of creatures. So there's a little creature over there, I need to throw it a bit further. Oh, we've gra grabbed the attention of another creature anyway. Now what I would say, chums, is the bigger the creature, the bigger the poo. Heck yes! So you need to feed some big creatures. Find a planet with big creatures. I mean, these guys here are super cute, and they're super big. So they're going to lay giant great big turds, which is going to be freaking ace. Now I just need to wait. I just need to wait for their digestion to take place. Heck yes. Right, here we go. They're now laying these chocolate eggs, so I can go around and I can pick these up. I mean, I lied to myself. I call them chocolate eggs because I don't like the idea of picking up turd. Heck no. You don't need the hazmat gloves for this, funny enough. You can just go about your day picking this stuff up, so you can do this pretty early game. Heck yes! So here we go, let's go grab this one, lovely. You can see there that one of those turds was huge, and one of these is, is quite small. So yeah, and there's a medium-sized one. There's a giant one over there, I'll grab that one in a minute. I just want this little nugget. Get in my pocket, little nugget. Here we go, here's a big one, lovely. So there you go, and you can see there that I'm getting quite a lot every time I pick up one of those turds. And you can ride these creature yards. <laughs> come on, my little friend. Now, if there is that pet update, Hopefully I can come back and befriend one of these and have them as a pet. Um, if that's if, you, if that's even a thing. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to give you the coordinates on screen now so you can come to this planet if you want to. And you can befriend these guys, especially if there is that pet update. And what I would say, chums, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do. My channel is reaching um, its second year anniversary in July. I would like to be at 15k by then. Help me meet that goal and hit that subscribe button. Yarn. Heck yes! Righto, so let's uh, jump off this little creature. Yeah? Now, I called this creature Stevie. <laughs> yeah, so here we go, let's go into my discoveries. There we go, there's Stevie. I will be back for you, Stevie, I promise. Heck yes, I do. If there is this pet update and we can own ourselves a pet, I want to pet Stevie, and this is probably the best one I've seen to date. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to call him my freighter. Because if you don't like the idea of picking up poo, there is another way that you can get feceum. You can actually grow it inside of planting trays. So here we go, up to my freightier. Now here I am, round by my planter trays. You've already seen me do a couple of these. So yes, if you don't like picking up poo, this bit is for you. I mean, yeah. Not many people do, to be fair, do they? Heck no. <laughs> okay, so this is for you guys if you don't like picking up poo. Here we go. So this is a plant called the gut, the gutrud flower, but it also gives you feceum. So I can pick up all this feceum just up here. There we go. Chicka pow and chicka boom. Lovely and jubbly. Right, so I think that's now given me almost a 300 feceum total. Let's have a look, see. Ah, 297. Well, we'll just say, for easy math, to keep this nice and simple, say that's 300 uh, feceum, lovely jubbly. Now, what I want to do is I want to go to my refiners, not the nutrient processors. First, I want to put them into the refiners. Ah, okay, so, and that's going to turn it into Mordite. Now, I could do the whole stack there. You can see it's going to take a minute and 10 seconds. But I, what I could do is I could split this stack down. So if you have got a shed ton of feceum, the best way to do it, if you've got like four refiners, is to split it into batches. So here we go, let's split that into batches. So let's uh, go into here. So all I'm doing is pressing the button to split these now. There we go. And I'm putting them in. So I split it and I split it again, mainly because I'm going to be putting it into all four of my refiners. So here we go. And I split and split again. Chicka pow. And go. You can see that it's only going to take 11 seconds or so for that first batch. But the remainder, I'm going to put in the last one, and we'll wait for the last one to complete. So this one's going to take 18 seconds, and I'd imagine the last batch is going to take similar sort of time again. So there we go, chicka pow, and put that in. And there we are, easy peasy, and turning poo 
into a Mordite. So Mordite is almost like a creature type substance. If you kill a creature, you're going to get Mordite. So it's sort of leftovers of creature deposits in a roundabout way. Skin and flesh combined, I suppose. Yeah, not exactly nice when you think about it that way. Right, so let's just chunk that into the exosuit. So yeah, killing creatures, you can get Mordite. So you can miss a step if you wanted. So rather than feed the creatures and wait for poo, you could just murdercate them all. Heck yes, bit of murdercation. Um, yeah, as if, if you're into that sort of thing. Which, to be honest, I, I, I don't get much out of killing creatures. It, In fact, I, it, it leaves me feeling a little bit empty. Especially if um, some of those creatures are super cute, like the Stevies on that planet. Right, oh, so I've still got a little bit of Fecium there. Might as well get as much as I can out of this. Chikapow! Lovely, lovely Mordite into there. Now all I want to do is put these into my nutrient processors. So you can see here I've got 196 Mordite. And again I'm going to split them into batches. So split and split again. And we're going to be putting them into our nutrient processor. Split, split and in it goes. Chikapow. You can see that it's going to turn into meaty flakes. Well, meat flake. Right, so here we go. Let's, let's do the next one. Chikapow. And it's just a case of rinsing and repeating and doing this into all of your nutrient processes. Now this is why I put my nutrient processes opposite my refiners, just in case there's something I need to refine first before it goes into the nutrient processor. And I have four and four again. And I usually do this in small batches because I haven't got the patience to hand in massive great big batches to Kronos at the end of this because it's, it's like watching freaking paint dry. The most I can do in one go is probably about 300 of something. And even that, that is laborious. Now what I would say, as well as cre killing creatures to get Mordite, you can actually plant Mordite. But here you go, you can see that the Fecium, it only takes three hours to grow back. Well, four hours total. Four hours to grow back, which is freaking ace. But yeah, if you want to grow Mordite, that's the Mordite plant over there. So yeah, you just grow it. So rather than kill the creatures, you could just grab the Mordite. And that skips the whole Fecium sort of step. However, for this video, I just wanted to show you that you can turn poo into nanites. It's freaking awesome. Righto, let's see how we're getting on with these. Okay, so they've got a little bit longer to go. So you know what? I'm going to use the power of editing, and I'll be right back with you in a moment. Yeah, none of these are, are about to finish. So yeah, power of editing. I'll be with you guys in a sec. Don't you go away, and we'll go for the next step. Heck yes. Okay, so here we go. They've now started to finish. So all I want to do is grab the meaty flakes and put them over there to turn them into meaty chunks. Look at that. A nice little bauble of meat. There we go. Who would have ever thought that started off life as a pile of poo? Right, there you go. Turn into meaty chunks, you. And we may as well do these last two. They're about to finish now. So lovely and jubbly. Let's uh, access that one. And meaty flakes into meat chunks. Oh, okay. Oh, we've got a surplus. All right, I put that in for my ingredient storage. I will do all the uh, surplus afterwards. Uh, I do that in my own time. I don't need to show you that. You just need to have the three steps. Because there is one more step after this, chums. So here we go. Let's stick that in there. Oh, it's another surplus. Let's chuck that over there. And uh, yeah, let's start that going. Chikapow! Meaty chunks. Okay, so that's another step. So I'll be right back with you guys in a sec. And I'll show you the final step. A Rooney! Well, we're nearly there, chums. So here we go. Let's go into uh, this one over here. Let's finish first. And all I'm going to do is split the stack. So there you go. 25 there. And pick this one up and put that there. 25 there. And you can see that that's turning into a mystery meat stew. And that's what we're going to be handing into Kronos. Let me show you that again. There you go. Split a stack. Chikapow. And Chikapow. I'm going to have a surplus meat chunk there. But don't you worry. I will sort out all my surpluses like I said in my own time. And here we go. Let's grab this and split that. 25 and 25. And that's going to turn into mystery meat stew. So although that I had quite a lot of meaty chunks. You know I would have had about 200 and something meaty chunks. Because I've got to split it and split again to put these together. I'm probably going to come out with about 100 mystery meat stews. Which is great anyway. I mean that's, that's a nice little bundle to hand in. But we'll see how many nanites we actually get. Just for having... You know, 300 turds at the start of all of this. That's what we had, which is freaking awesome. Okay, right, so I'm going to let that go. And I'll be seeing you guys over at the next yas with Mr. Crony Arse. See you there. Okay, here I am at the next yas with Mr. Crony Arse. Okay, and uh, yeah, so let's uh, pop on over here. I'm going to go into my options. I'm going to make sure that hold to confirm is disabled so I can do this nice and quick. And I'm also going to put myself into first person mode. So quick menu, first person mode. Chikapow! 
and then we can go over to Kronos. Hello there, Kronos. Right, so I have got 103 of these things. So I'm just going to turn in three, and I'm going to show you how many nanites we get for those three. So here we go, let's give them the first load. There we are, we just got ourselves 40 nanites, which is freaking awesome. Now, because I've set my options, I just need to click here, which is just roughly where his hand is. Whoops, I actually jumped there, but there we go. And it's that quick to turn them in. Pow! You don't even have to, you can just keep pressing the buttons and go through it. That's why I changed my options to that first person perspective and also turn off the um, confirm. Because then you can just do this super quick like I'm doing right now. Take that, Kronos! Oh, he says that's rot. Okay, lovely. Well, at the moment, we've got 126.039. Okay, well, that's quite a lot of nanites that I've got right now. But we'll see how many nanites we get after I turn in these two batches of 50. So 100 mystery meat stews. What is that going to net us? Right, well, it's 10 minutes later, and through the power of editing, I am back with Crony Ars, and I only have about three left to turn in. So here we go. Yeah, take that, Mr. Cronus. What are you going to give me? Sweet, lovely, awesome, lovely, lovely nanites. I'm just give him the last couple. There we go. Oh, blandness, he says. Well, he still gave me 90 nanites. Nice. Okay, brilliant. And there we go. We're done. Awesome. Right, well, let's change my view. So let's go back into third person. There I am. Heck, that's awesome. I'm back to normal. And now let's have a look how many nanites we've got. We've got... 132.807 that's actually six well 6.5 k in dirty math but that's actually 6.7 k that's freaking mind-blowing oh my days i've turned poo into nanites heck yes that's better than water into wine take that jesus heck yes yeah anyway that's that's pretty much that chum so i hope you enjoyed that and i hope you try it at home and until next time you guys have been freaking ace goodbye goodbye and goodbye again heck yes i want to say a massive great big thank you for watching if you like what you see please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and thank you to my backers over on patreon and on youtube membership if you do want to support this channel you could just not skip my adverts that throws revenue down my avenue or stay with captain steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen heck yes there's also merch on this screen now awesome